He's got big feet. İnsanları tarif etme. Step 2. Listen. Tim Lovett'ın arkadaşı Mark O'Connor onlarda kalmak üzere geliyor. Tim tren istasyonunda karşılarken tanıyabilmesi için onu annesine tarif ediyor. What does he look like? I don't know. He's tall and well, what color is his hair? Brown, I think. I can't remember. Is he fat or thin? It's hard to say. He's not really fat and he's not really thin. I see. He's got an Irish accent. Okay, he's tall and he's got dark hair, you think. And he's neither fat nor thin and he's got an Irish accent. Ah, and he's got big feet. Ah, that's very helpful. See you later. Goodbye, ma'am. Diana, Oxford istasyonunda nasıl birisini karşılayacağından hala emin değil. Excuse me, you Mrs. Lovett? Yes. Oh, hello. I'm Mark O'Connor. Bölüm 4 Step 4 Repetition. Şu sözleri dinleyin. What does he look like? I don't know. I can't remember. Is he fat? Is he tall? Tall, short, fat, thin. He's neither fat nor thin. What color is his hair? Fair, dark, black, white, brown, red, blue, green. What color are his eyes? They're green, I think. Ah, and he's got big feet. Foot, feet, legs, arms, hands. That's not very helpful. Şimdi dinleyin ve tekrar edin. What does he look like? I don't know. I can't remember. Is he fat? Is he tall? Tall, short, fat, thin. He's neither fat nor thin. What color is his hair? Fair, dark, black, white, brown, red, blue, green. What color are his eyes? They're green, I think. And he's got big feet. Foot, feet, legs, arms, hands. That's not very helpful. Bölüm 8 Uygulama Alıştırma 1B Daha önce yazdığınız soruları sorun ve cevaplarını dinleyin. Önce bir örnek. Adının ne olduğunu sorun. What's his name? Mr. Smith. Şimdi sorma sırası sizde. Onun nasıl birisi olduğunu sorun. What does he look like? He's about 20 and he's tall. Şimdi şişman mı, zayıf mı olduğunu sorun. Is he fat or thin? He's thin. Saçının ne renk olduğunu sorun. What color is his hair? It's dark. Gözlerinin ne renk olduğunu sorun. What color are his eyes? They're blue. Öyleyse bunlardan hangisi Mr. Smith? (gülüyor) 
Alıştırma 2B Palyaço Pogo ile ilgili şu yanlış gözlemlerin tersini söyleyeyim. Her zaman olduğu gibi gene bir örnek. Pogo the clown has got blue eyes. No he hasn't. He's got brown eyes. Şimdi sıra sizde. He's got small hands. No he hasn't. He's got big hands. He's thin. No he isn't. He's fat. He's got green hair. No he hasn't. He's got red hair. He's tall. No he isn't. He's short. He's got small feet. No he hasn't. He's got big feet. <laughs> Alıştırma 3 Şu örnekleri tekrarlayarak Luk takine benzeyen U sesinin telaffuzu üzerinde çalışın Foot Foot Look Look Good Good His foot looks good His foot looks good Alıştırma 4 Şu şarkıyı söyleyeyim dersin sonu 28 It isn't exactly a factory. Birini gezdirme. Step two. Listen. Sam Lovett'la oğlu Tim, Mark O'Connor'a parfüm imalat annesini gezdiriyorlar. It's a very pretty shop. Where's the factory? It isn't exactly a factory. I make the perfume in the old stables. And I put it in bottles in the small building behind the house. Can I see? Yes. Follow me. Mind your head. That machine is for putting the labels on the bottles. Here we are. This is the bottling machine. How does it work? Watch. Here you are. A bottle of perfume. Give it to your sister. I haven't got a sister. <laughs> Give it to your mother. Thank you very much. Bölüm 4 Step 4 Repetition Şu sözleri dinleyin. Make, put. I make perfume. I make it here. I put it in bottles. Over there. In that building. Behind the house. Building, house, office, school, shop, garage. This is the factory. Factory, machine. Follow me. The machine is in here. It's for putting perfume in bottles. 
How does it work? It works like this. Şimdi dinleyin ve tekrar edin. Make. Put. I make perfume. I make it here. I put it in bottles. Over there. In that building. Behind the house. Building. House. Office. School. Shop. Garage. This is the factory. Factory. Machine. Follow me. The machine is in here. It's for putting perfume in bottles. How does it work? It works like this. Bölüm 8. Uygulama. Alıştırma 3. Şu şarkıyı söyleyin. Sekizinci dersin sonu. Dokuz. Lesson 29. I must go. Gitmek üzere izin isteme. Step 2. Listen. Sam Lovett, parfümü için yeni pazarlar yaratma çabasında. Bu işi başaracak kişinin kim olduğunu biliyor. Bu kişi, Sam'ın reklam işlerini yapan ajantanın yöneticilerinden biri olan Felicity King. Sam ona iş teklifinde bulunuyor. Do you like the idea? Yes, I do. But I need time to think about it. I have some more coffee. No, thanks. I must go. Yes, sir. Uh, could I have two black coffees, please? No, I really must go. <laughs> You've got time for a quick cup of coffee. No, it's very kind of you, but I must hurry. Okay. Well, come and see the perfumery next week. And you must meet Diana. I'd love to. Good. Uh, can you telephone me on Monday? Yes. Uh, now I really must be going. Okay. Goodbye. I look forward to seeing you next week. Goodbye. Uh, how many coffees, sir? Uh... One, please. Volume 4. Step 4. Repetition. Şu sözleri dinleyin. I must. I must go. I really must go. Have some coffee. Coffee. Tea with milk. And sugar. White coffee. Black coffee. No, thanks. I must hurry. I really must hurry. Could I have the bill? I look forward to seeing you. See. Seeing. I look forward to seeing you again. Meet. Meeting. I look forward to meeting you again. Talk. Talking. I look forward to talking to you again. Goodbye. Şimdi dinleyin ve tekrar edin. I must. I must go. I really must go. Have some coffee. Coffee. Tea. With milk. And sugar. White coffee. Black coffee. No, thanks. I must hurry. I really must hurry. Could I have the bill? I look forward to seeing you. See. Seeing. I look forward to seeing you again. 
Meet. Meeting. I look forward to meeting you again. Talk. Talking. I look forward to talking to you again. Goodbye. Bölüm 8 Uygulama Alıştırma 1B Daha önce yazdıklarınızı kullanarak şu konuşmaya katılın. Önce bir örnek. You must talk to my friend. I look forward to talking to him. Şimdi sıra sizde. You must meet my wife. I look forward to meeting her. You must come to my house one day. I look forward to coming. You must meet my husband. I look forward to meeting him. You must meet my son and daughter. I look forward to meeting them. You must see the factory one day. I look forward to seeing it. We must meet again. I look forward to seeing you again. Alıştırma 4. Şu şarkıyı söyleyin. Yirmi dokuzuncu dersin sonu. Otuz. I must go. I must go. I've got to go and meet a friend. I've got to meet a lovely friend tonight. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you soon. Lesson 30. I've got to do some shopping. Özür dileyerek bir yerden ayrılma. Step 2. Listen. Lucy alışverişini bir an önce bitirmek istiyor. Ama Lovett'ların yaşlı komşusu Mrs. Bennett'le karşılaşır. And how is Tim? He's very well too, thank you. And how's his little friend? That Irish boy. Oh, very well. We had a letter from him yesterday. Oh, good. I must go. I'm cooking the supper tonight. Oh, what are you having? Steak and kidney pie. That's my favorite dish. It's lovely with sprouts and new potatoes, but they must be fresh. I don't like frozen vegetables. No. My daughter buys frozen vegetables. They're very expensive, you know. Yes, they are. Oh, look at the time. I really must hurry. I've got to do some shopping. Oh, don't let me keep you. Bölüm 4 Step 4 Repetition Şu sözleri dinleyin. I must go. I've got to do some shopping. I have got to. I've got to cook. I've got to cook the supper. Supper, dinner, breakfast, lunch, supper. I must go. I've got to meet a friend. I've got to buy some things, some vegetables. I'm making a pie, a steak and kidney pie. My favorite dish. I really must hurry. I've got to buy the meat. Don't let me keep you. Goodbye. See you. See you soon. See you later. See you on Monday. Goodbye. Şimdi dinleyin ve tekrar edin. I must go. I've got to do some shopping. I have got to. 
I've got to cook. I've got to cook the supper. Supper. Dinner. Breakfast. Lunch. Supper. I must go. I've got to meet a friend. I've got to buy some things. Some vegetables. I'm making a pie. A steak and kidney pie. My favorite dish. I really must hurry. I've got to buy the meat. Don't let me keep you. Goodbye. See you. See you soon. See you later. See you on Monday. Goodbye. Bölüm 8. Uygulama. Alıştırma 1B. Daha önce yazdıklarınızı kullanarak şu konuşmaya katılın. Önce örneği dinleyin. I must go. I've got to go to the garage. Don't let me keep you. Şimdi sıra sizde. Resim A. I must go. I've got to go to the dentist. Don't let me keep you. Şimdi resim B. I must go. I've got to catch a train. Okay. See you soon. Şimdi de resim C. I must go. I've got to do some shopping. Okay. See you later. Şimdi resim D'ye bakın. I must go. I've got to catch a bus. Okay. See you on Monday. Şimdi de resim E'ye bakın. I must go. I've got to meet a friend. Okay. Goodbye. Alıştırma 3. Şu şarkıyı söyleyin. I must go. I must go. I've got to go and meet a friend. I've got to meet a lovely friend tonight. Goodbye. Tonight. 